How to create a drop down menu in WordPress. Step by step tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can create a drop down menu in WordPress. So let's get into it. Now, to get started, simply log on to your WordPress dashboard. And if I visit my site over here, currently you can see there are only two items in my menu. So before you create your drop down menu, you want to make sure you have added all the categories or pages that you want in your drop down menu. So you can click on pages on the left side of your screen. And from here, you can add all of the different items you want to add into your menu. Now, your menu is not going to be limited to pages. Don't worry. It's very customizable and it's very easy to do. So now to customize our menu or to create a drop down menu, all you have to do is click on appearance on the left side of your screen and then you will click on menus. Now, once you do that, this will ask you to create your first menu. So we will name this. Now, I'm just going to name this mega menu and I will add what kind of menus that, you know, what kind of uh, pages or items should be added. So first off, you have multiple different menu items you can add. So you have pages, posts, custom links and categories. So you can add any kind of thing that you want. So let's say I want to add both of these pages, click on add to menu. Now you guys will see both of these items have been added to my mega menu. Then in my post, let's say I want to add hello world. Let's say I want to add this as well. Whatever you want, it's totally up to you. And you can even add your affiliate links or third party links or even links to a specific product that you're trying to promote directly on the mega menu or in the form of a drop down menu. So it's totally up to you. Now, once you have added all your items, let's say I want Hello World to be all of these to be a subcategory of product. So for that, I will just drag and drop. So first off, we want to add them in the order that you want them to appear in. So firstly, I want sample page to appear at top and then I want uncategorized and Hello World to be, you know, the sub item of product. So all I have to do is click on this and just drag it slightly to the right. Once you click on it and drag it slightly to the right, it will be created as a sub item. So it will be formed in the form of a drop down menu. Now, you also have some other menu settings where you can add automatically add new top level pages to this menu. So whenever new pages are created, they will automatically be added. Now, after that, you have your display location. So I want it to be horizontal and I want it to be a mobile menu as well. And then after that, you can see your manage. You will click on save menu on the bottom right and then you can click on manage locations. So our horizontal desktop menu is all going to be a mega menu. I don't want it to be a footer menu or social menu, but I will just save this over here. Now I will visit my site and you guys can see I have a gorgeous looking uh, drop down menu created in my WordPress site. Now you might be wondering, hey, I have created this it's super easy and helpful, but for certain templates, this option might not be available. What do you do in that scenario? Well, it can get a little tricky if you're using a template or a specific type of template that doesn't support this. For that, I do recommend that you check out a more, you know, a WordPress editor simply because the drop down menu that you will add via a different uh, third party application will be a little more um, customizable or will appear a little better. So that is something to consider. A lot of, you know, quite a few themes don't support this kind of thing. There are a couple in, you know, this directory. The 22 theme is not supportive of this. So if I activate this theme instead and uh, I go into appearance, I don't get the menu section. So for that, you will actually have to go into your theme, click on customize. Once you do that, you want to select your template path. You can select your menu from here. Just select your menu, not the entire header. Then you will see multiple different options. You have, you know, transform to, you have this option where you can choose a parent block in your navigation. 
Uh, so you guys can choose select parent in your navigation. You have duplication, create template part. Then you have your edit option. So this menu is automatically kept in sync. You can manage your menu yourself by clicking edit. And now I have opened this up for editing. Now, after that, I can create multiple different products like this. Let's say I have another page like so. I can add multiple different pages. So once you have opened up your menu for editing, you want to be able to add all of the pages or the blog posts cut, you know, manually, you will have to add all of those. So you're going to add the link to all of those. Once you have added all the items that you want to add in your drop down menu, you will simply click on the top right over here, right beside your save button on the top right of your screen. You guys can see it over here. It says settings. So you want to click on this and then you will click on over here. You have your template. So you want to make sure you've clicked your menu, your entire menu. And you guys will be able to now see this in the block section where it says your menu. So you have your menu over here. Let's say I want everything uh, after the sample product, I want everything to be uh, a sub page of product. So it's pretty much the same thing that we did previously. We will click on the item and move it slightly towards the right. Or you can just click on this and click on add sub menu link. And you can create a sub menu just like that. So we have a custom link, let's say we want to add product or let's say I'm just going to add all of the items directly over here and remove them from here. So I will just click on product, click on these three dots on the top right, click on add sub menu link and I can add, you know, all of the links that I want directly onto my sub menu and I can choose to open these in a new tab. I can also add more navigational or menu items and once I have completed, I will just click on save, save and just like that our basic menu has now been completed into a drop down menu. So these are the two ways that you can edit your WordPress templates or websites and create drop down menus instead of being stuck with the basic simple menus. You can add any kind of link you want in your drop down and it's very easy and efficient. And these are the two methods that you need for any kind of templates. These two methods will work. It's going to be one or the other. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and now you are able to get started with creating your own drop down menu for your WordPress website. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries regarding WordPress or any other software, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.